it. Now this particular hyena, you can see its belly is quite full, so it's not pregnant I don't think, there's no sort of droop to the, the lower end of the belly, it's just very fat, so it's obviously found some meal last night and had a really really good feed. But I'm sure that they are looking around every road we drive on at the moment, there's hyena tracks everywhere, they're checking all over on termitariums, looking for any place to dig out. I just want to quickly sneak forward just because it keeps looking in that direction behind the bush and we obviously can't see behind the bush so I just want to try and go that way and just see what it's looking at. Now, because it's got a full belly, in all likelihood there might be something around. Um, it doesn't look like there's any blood on that face itself but it is possible that maybe there's something here that it's stolen a carcass from. You never know, sometimes there'll be a leopard lying around. There is a big water pan here so it could also just be coming for a drink. Yeah. But this looks like one of the younger members of the clan. Those of you who are in the know with the clan, maybe you can give us an idea as to who this is. But it looks like one of the younger ones. The ears are still perfectly intact. There's no sort of signs of scarring around the head. It looks in great condition at the moment. So. It is a very happy hyena, but you can see very alert to what's going on. So that's why I wanted to check because generally hyenas this time of the day are still moving around looking for any signs of food or going to reunite with the clan and back to the den site. And this particular one is very, very, very alert as to what's going on around it. So I wonder if there's not something that it bumped into recently. But there you can see that belly. Look how full it is. Had a really good feed last night. crossing the road and you can see the nose is down so she's sniffing looking for any signs of others so Michael you're wondering what dictates hyena moving dens and when do they decide to do so well generally what how it works is that there'll potentially be some sort of issue where they are currently denning so sometimes it'll be if the den has been utilized for too long and it's now become dirty and filthy and the young ones have defecated and urinated inside there and it's become a bit of a mess also hyenas will bring back bits of carcasses so you end up with bits of bone everywhere and it becomes quite filthy and so they often move because of that then the other side of it is there could be pressure that's around wherever they were denning so maybe there's an increase in lion activity increase in other hyenas and they've decided that they're now going to move on to try and find a safe area for their young ones to grow up and so 